April 27, 1986. It was impossible to reach the station by phone. Today I will tell you about the tragedy that is discussed all over the world. I will show you the first reactor where the explosion took place, the medical unit where people died, and Dadlow's apartment who is blamed for the tragedy. From here, people left with the passports in their hands, holding the child and with the hope that they return in a couple of days. But they did not return. Chernobyl became more popular after directing the film Chernobyl HBO. Today I will show you the tourist road along the location that were used in the film. Well, are you with me? Let's go! Today the excursions to the dead city start from the checkpoint Detatki. A lot of people now come here to see the place that we are showing in the film by HBO, tourists by different souvenirs. I will also visit all movie locations today. When you enter the zone, you see nothing special, just a road that goes through the forest. Here, in certain places, the dosimeter starts to beep loudly. So guys, we near about city Pripyat and my dosimeter show um, the level of radiation, this is 0.79. But when we travel, you thought it was very different level of radiation. Sometimes it was more than 10. That's why I think it is really, really strange and really dangerous place. They say if you stop talking, you can hear your heartbeat because it is too quiet here. Before the tragedy, Chernobyl was a young city. 50,000 people lived here. It is exactly from here, on the 26th of April at 1.42 am, the guard of the 6th fire station went from prepaid for help. The fire was immediately assigned the so-called number 3, the highest degree of danger. The firefighters had only standard suits, gloves and helmets. Nothing was known about the highest level of radiation in the fire zone. It is the same dormitory where lives uh, main actor Ludmila and Vasily Natenka. If you remember Vasily, is a fireman who was the first uh, on a place where an accident was happened. Let's check this build. Vasily and Lyudmila Ignatenka lived on the second floor of the hostel. Lyudmila woke up not from an explosion of fire, as shown in the film, but from a loud siren of fire trucks. This is a picture for one of the main actor for the film, it was Lyudmila Ignatenka, and it was the actress. Okay, a lot of documents and of course book, for example this one, protection of them. Documents from people who live here. It was scaled, the bridge is dead. It was here people stood and saw the accident. But, like we know these pictures, but our guide say us it is not true because in this moment was 1.23 am and a lot of people from prepared were asleep. That's why maybe some people, maybe one, maybe two uh, people was here, but not a lot of like and feel. You can easily see the reactor from the bridge, but because of the trees it is not easy to do it today. If you remember, this is a dangerous moment in film. This is hospital and uh, first liquidators and uh, firemen was here. Creepy play the medical unit 123. The hospital that was the first to hold the victims of the explosion at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. Here nurses saved people and died. When the firefighters were taken to the hospital, their clothes was taken off. 
as it was solid radioactive waste, and then the clothes was thrown into the basement. This is the city hotels of Pripyat, Polesia. It was here that the gas of and Sherbina stopped the main actor from uh, film Chernobyl. Here in the bar, the Legasso told the lady guest that everything is fine. The exit is not terrible. <gasps> My father. Oh, and it is, I think, maybe your sister. Yes. How much it cost? Oh, very nice price. We make it. Guys, if you want to buy something for your child or for your relatives, please visit to Narodny Dim Ukraina. Let's go to the cash desk. Part of the filming of the series took place in Kiev. You already know about this glorious city from my video. If not, I recommend you to subscribe our YouTube channel Visit Kiev right now. And now I will show you the place that we involved in the series. In the first series of Chernobyl, you can recognize the Research Institute of Hydrobiology on Heroes of Stalingrad Avenue. The facade of the building is similar to the Pripyat Hospital, where the firefighters were taken to during the liquidation of the accident. The third location, Moscow, as 18 years, was filmed in this street, Bogdan Akhmeninsky Street. The building of the Ukrainian National Information Agency, Ukraine Form, served at the music school number 132. If you remember what the series it is, write in the comments. The Arnaski Library served as a location for an episode in the Scientific Library of Moscow State University. Some scenes of an administrative nature were shot at KPI University. If you don't have time to visit Chernobyl, I recommend you to visit Museum of Chernobyl. It is situated in the center of the city in Podil district. This location was not shown in the film, but it is definitely worth visiting. The Museum of the History of Chernobyl has more than 7,000 exhibits different documents, map, photographs, personal belongings of the workers. So it is the same bus like was 30 years ago in 1986. And like 30 years ago now the employers who work in this factory go to home. A number of international projects are being implemented at the Chernobyl NPP to support the decommissioning of power unit. Today about 2,700 people work here. It is a shelter of Chernobyl. Let's go and let's check this place. This is a secret bunker that only the governing authorities knew about. Here they discussed the plans of action. At the time of the accident, it was the safest place where radiation did not reach. Now excursions are held here and the workers of the station are trained. In this place, after incident, the management of station discuss about the problem. And of course, they call governor. Now it's like 25-30 years ago. Ukrainian soft drink compot. Local canteen for tourists and workers of the station. To get here you need to pass a special device check. You attach the body and it displayed clean or dirty. As for the water for cooking, you can be sure that this water is clean, not from the Pripyat river. You can enjoy it. Very nice and very tasty. I hope Ukrainian dish. Of course, this is salad, carrot and uh, cucumber, cabbage. Of course, traditional Ukrainian borscht and spaghetti with chicken cutlet. On a dessert, this is prianik. It is too traditional, I think, Soviet dish. And on a last, you can enjoy kampot. Smachnogo. All 
the old sarcophagus, a new one has been installed. The new construction will definitely serve for 100 years. Today is a really safe place here. For example, the level of radiation in three times less than, for example, in airplane. Just 1.09. Here we can see the monument. It was erected to the 10th anniversary of the Chernobyl disaster. The words on it say, to those who saved the world, to those who died during the liquidation. Guys, now we go to the apartments where was live Anatoly Dyadlov. It is not a tourist place and few people know where the apartment is located. We have to get through high bushes. The level of radiation. The number of room or flat, it is 39. The surname is Dyatlov A.S. Yeah, because of his health, oh. and uh, then he died in nine years after reacting from a heart attack. There is almost nothing left in the apartment, only a rusty bus and old stuff and large closet. Amazing and horrifying place, which has become things for popular and very nice film. A lot of film and a lot of games about this place. And yes, the kids actually never try these wings. The radiation in this place is minimal, but if you put the decimeter under one of the swings, you will see that it is really high. You remember the moments when machine, a lunar machine, tried to clean graphite and some radioactive things from a rooftop and this is a prototype of this machine. Neither Japanese nor German electronics could stand this level of radiation. It broke down. People worked. Machines were not able to work here. Now Pripyat is a tourist place which is full of eternal history. After the series Chernobyl by HBO was shown, a real tourist boom began in Chernobyl zone. Both Ukrainians and foreigners dreams to see the places shown in the series. After all, Chernobyl zone is special. Here history has an exact time of the beginning, but there is not exact time of the end. Tell me please, how much cost this tour? Well, for the Ukrainian citizen, that is 145 US dollars per person. For the foreign guest, that's 185 US dollars per whole day. So you visit all the most interesting sites and you even get to ride that military vehicle of the radiological reconnaissance, the real one. Okay, and uh, what's the rules to visit Chernobyl zone? Well, first of all, you have to have the desire to do this. Okay. Second of all, you have to be 18 years old. You have to have closed shoes, closed clothes, so the appropriate clothing. Uh, and you just have to follow all the instructions of your guide and have good mood. Cool, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Chernobyl too. And if you want to know more information about this tour, please visit site chernobyltour.com.